Hello everybody, Smyrna Cowboy here, and as promised, I'm going to go ahead and do a walk around with Mo. <laughs> with Mo. Her screen name is Triumph what? 6632. 6632. Yeah. And that's because, not of the motorcycle, because no, of? that's because of my dog. Yeah, he, he has a Siberian Husky. Who very has only two legs. That's right. And, and what do you do? Oh, I'm retired, sort of. I uh, work with the animals and work with trying to rehab them and ultimately find them the right perfect home except Triumph's not going anywhere. <laughs> I just got a three-legged one, uh, Collie, and he's not going anywhere. So I guess I kind of keep him. God sends me the wounded ones and I take care of them. Oh, that's great. That's great. Well, let's look at your bike. Everybody's wanting to know about the Piaggio MP3. And as you can see, it has two front wheels on the front. And I'll have some footage of going into the curves after this uh, walk around. And you can see the maneuverability of the MP3. This is a 5 or 400? This is a 500. That's a 500. A Piaggio MP3 bike, 500. Big woman. <laughs> and as you can see, the two front wheels it has two separate contact patches, so it gets a lot better traction and then stability in the curves and everything. Uh, and that is not on a stand right now. Um, and that is not on a stand, it's just standing up it's by standing itself. It's standing with the parking brake on. And which one's the parking brake? We have the parking brake right here. Right, let me do the... Oops, so, and you can see, I mean, it's... It's fairly sturdy. Stable. Yeah. Now you can put it up on a stand. It Oops. has a stand right here. And it does have a center stand. Yeah, so I can put it on that. And let's see, uh, look at the, the see, only thing, 500 IE. The only thing I've added to the bike um, is the windshield because I happen to like a taller windshield. It comes with the shorter one, mm -hmm. which is still on here. And this is an aftermarket. And this is a GV aftermarket Piaggio windshield. windscreen. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Let's look at your dash. Pretty much has everything on it. Mean, if I go shopping, I can just take my shopping bag and put my hooks on there, put on there, flop it back and the bag sits down there. Well that's cool. Of course this is your gas tank under here. Mm -hmm. You also have a, you hear the click of the key that opens up. It's okay baby, you won't fall. And this is the Large trunk. compartment. Yeah. In here. You can't, because women have to have junk. <laughs> so, uh. <laughs> Has to have all sorts of crap. Yeah, you can put the helmet in there. <laughs> but then, how can you get helmet head? Oh, that's true. And, and of course, I keep my triple that, charger. And that's for your pigtail for your battery charger. Yep, all done that. Has a lot of rack room, like I said, right now. I just go with this bag. I love this bag because I can just stuff it full of stuff. I put the stuff I need fastest there and then today we're trying to turn the tables a little bit on you and <laughs> I mounted a camera on the back of this one to try and catch you riding. Well good, good. That time somebody did. <laughs> well good. And let's see, let's look at your uh, cluster up here. And you told me earlier the bad thing that you don't like about it is that it's in kilometers per hour first and then miles per hour in a second because it is Italian. Yes. And that's the only bad thing. So that's was, over there. Because yeah. right now, finally, thank you for getting me out of 48 degree weather this morning, <laughs> but it is now up to 55. Ooh. I got 1,982 miles on it. It happens to be on a 24 hour clock right now. Okay. Panel down here will give me all my warning things. Um, if you notice right now, the orange light, these two little things are actually my front wheels. Mm hmm. Cool. Which are locked right now. Mm -hmm. And it tells me. It's locked because of the orange light. All I have to do when we start off is turn my throttle. It automatically unlocks. I do not have to flip the switch. Oh, cool. That's neat. And, he's, and uh, I think you told me before it has a burglar alarm on it also. Oh, yeah. Well, that's neat. I've set it off and taken me five minutes in my own garage to turn it off. <laughs> you know. A gas gauge and a, and a tack on the right side of the cluster and then you got your pertinent information gas gauge and everything on the yeah, center. Yeah, and I said you can put it to a 12 hour clock and it also has, you know, a temperature gauge and... Oh, it's temperature gauge. Yeah. Oh, that's right. There's the gas gauge. What am I thinking? Yeah. Gas and, uh, gauge right there. Yeah. 
Yeah. And of course you got your RPM, which I cool. actually, because I'm not used to kilometers, I go more by the RPM about how fast I'm going for the most part. Yeah. Well, like you said, that was a good idea, taking some pinstriping and, and just doing pinstri 10... Just enough, like, yeah. at 30, 40, 50, and 60, yeah. so that when my needle hits there, I know what I'm doing. Right. Well, that's cool. That's good. Or at least I think I do. <laughs> we'll you know get on that the, is. We'll get on the other side here and, and take a look at that. It's got a nice chrome muffler on it with Great the heat shield. Great suspension since the minute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, it's a heavy bike. And uh, how much did you say it weighed? You know, it, you, it's very visible going down the road, even from the back. Of course, when you have everything all red, I carried the flags because of my grandson. And he's in the military? My grandson. Yeah, good. Works. Very good. Very good. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's a good review of the Piaggio. 500 IE. I hope you enjoyed it. Everybody's been asking about it since we rode the last time. So, like I said, I was going to try to get a review in from the masteress herself. Well, I love it. It's funny looking going down the road, but uh, that thing on the curves and corners is just as smooth as it can be. Well, good. I'm the glad. Only, if I had a wish list from Piaggio, it would be that they put an audible on the turn signals. Mm hmm. Um, yeah, we do have the flashing light, but I always think an audible is helpful to remember to turn the thing off. That's why I got one on mine. Yeah, and um, it is really probably not going to work too well for anybody really short-legged. It would be nicer if it were a little bit lower. I mean, I'm very long-legged. So for me, if I put my feet out, I can be flat-footed, mm -hmm. but I have a 34-inch inseam, so if you got somebody about 5'2", they're going to have to keep their feet up on it and use the button for balance, or be willing to lean over to one side and mm -hmm. have that foot out. Okay. But other than that, I think it's a pretty mean machine. <laughs> <laughs> it does what you want it to, doesn't it? Ah, uh, definitely does what I want to. That's yeah. all. I had the Piaggio 252 wheeler. Uh, it was great. I loved it. Um, I wanted to step up a little bit in power, so I could take some of the roads that I was not riding. Mm -hmm. That's also because I'm still an inexperienced rider. I don't have very many miles under my butt yet. But I'm working on it. Yeah, that's Cowboy's right. Cowboy's helping me. That's right. I'm trying to do the best I can. <laughs> Doing a good job. Oh, well, thank you, ma'am. Well, this will be the end of the review. I don't know if I'll put this in one or two parts, but I guess I'll find out when I get it on, the, get it on YouTube. This is a Smyrna Cowboy from Smyrna, Tennessee. A sunny day today. With, standing here with Mo. Triumph, what was your number again? And the beautiful yes. lake. And the beautiful Percy Priest Lake that's down at Winter Pool right now, but soon it'll, it'll fill up by Memorial Day and everyone will get out and, and have, a, have a good time. So this is Smyrna Cowboy and Triumph, what was, what was the numbers again? Triumph what? The website? Yeah. Your uh, YouTube pages? Uh, for the YouTube? Yeah. If we get anything up there, <laughs> <laughs> I'm computer challenged. Uh, yeah, it's Triumph uh, 6632. Triumph 6632. If you want to take a look at the bike or everything, and uh, just uh, subscribe to the channel, and uh, she'd be more than happy to answer any questions that you might have. The Smyrna Cowboy from Smyrna, Tennessee, wishing you and yours a good day. And until next time, adios.